A unique emergency drill with rescuers from two counties teaming up to save a trapped horse. Veterinarians and firefighters from Placer and Sacramento counties took part in the exercise. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw got a first hand look at the new team training in our community. From forest fires to car crashes, emergency personnel are sometimes responding to injured animals. Well, today they got some hands on training on how to help these guys. Firefighters, animal control officers, and veterinarians at Loomis Basin Equine are learning the ropes to help rescue animals in need together. It's nice to have them come and put this on because this could happen to us today. We're going to get some ropes on it once it's sedated. Now they're harnessing their individual strengths to free this life size mannequin horse, simulating an animal trapped in a crash. And this one stranded on an island in a flood. You never know what's going to happen. It's giving crews an opportunity to practice with patients that don't always cooperate. This job can be fairly dangerous just because of um, the large animals we work with. It lets them learn each other's value. If fire hadn't have been here, we'd have been in here for three hours trying to figure out the pulley system. They set it up in three minutes. Just see when, boss. And how to work together. What I didn't understand uh, was the importance of communication between all the agencies and what they had to bring. Officials say these type of rescues only happen about a half a dozen times a year, like this horse stuck in the mud. But emergencies during natural disasters increase those calls. Especially with all the fires and everything that we're having, uh, lots of horses get evacuated, and then you have accidents that kind of come as a result of people trying to evacuate quickly. The goal is to make mistakes now instead of slipping up in real life emergencies. But we want to make sure that everyone communicates together and everyone's safe. Well, these guys certainly aren't going to need any help tonight, but in the future, Lomas Basin Equine Center is putting together a team so first responders and veterinarians can respond to these dangerous situations and help.